They need work on making sure that they can get right through the ball. I would put them on a wall, put a line on the wall at 7, 4, and an 8 to 8 feet, make them serve between those two lines. Start 10 feet away, 15 feet away. But that's what I'm, I want to get them to understand that, hey, I can float a ball. If I hit it in the center, it's going to float. And I could top spin a ball by hitting the back of the ball. And, you know, I could have great serves by just learning how to control the spin on a ball. Okay? So that's my beginning floater first. Then we could get into what other coaches may show you. Okay, they must have good coaches because they're actually doing a pretty good job, aren't they? I mean, they're standing, facing, all right, but when they get back in the middle of their swing to serve, their shoulders are opening up and they are closing. If they don't do that, then you have a problem. They're going to get hurt and they aren't going to serve tough enough or flat enough. The other thing is, is that all the skills have form at the end of them. Passing does. We try to get hitters, setters, so why not servers? So um, what, what is your form supposed to be when you're finished with your serve? Do you know what it's supposed to be? Speak up. Show us. Hand facing your target, okay? All right. You have to look at how do you implement serving in practice. So we'll, we'll do serving a number of times. We maybe do it at the beginning when we warm up our arms. Like Terry said, we have just some tape on the wall so that players can warm up hitting the ball hard and tight right at the top of the tape on the wall. Hits the wall, ball comes back, it's nice and easy. Uh, we'll do a variety of drills, so at the end of that drill I might just say, okay, uh, setters, you need three good serves in a row. So the setters will go back, they'll do it. We'll do a drill, uh, maybe a defensive drill, and I'll say, okay, middles, three good serves in a row. They'll have to go back. If they don't hit it, then everybody does a couple of push-ups or sit-ups so that people in the game in practice understand, hey, I have to be ready to serve. I can't be dreading it. What, what am I going to say? The first thing I th think I'm going to say was about the importance of not turning your shoulder. So he says that, and I start thinking, because that's what this clinic's all about is thinking. So I'm over here looking at my reflection in the, in the window, and I'm like, what do I do? Um, I notice with my girls, either we run camps with the juniors and younger kids, or even with some of my girls teaching them to hit a good float serve, some of the issues I see is there's too much turn. So if I want to drive a ball spiking, yeah, I want to turn, rotate, follow through. I just think if there's too much turn, if Terry's talking about how important it is to hit the flat middle part of that ball, can I see a ball, please? If that ball is here, and I'm turning and then coming back into it, there's more chance for some kind of glancing blow. But I'm listening to what John says, and I'm looking at my reflection in the, in the, mirror, or in the window, and I think there is a balance between the two. The little wrinkle that I will add is in with serving, as it is in all skills and in the game of volleyball, there's a hierarchy in my mind that the players deal with. There's not trying, there's trying, and then there's execution. The people who execute are the ones who are going to be on the court, not the people who try.